What's going on guys? Uh, as you saw in my last video on the 521, um, we had a leaky master cylinder, brake master cylinder. So uh, today I got my brake master cylinder in. Um, gonna go ahead and replace that and then see if we can get the brakes working. And if we can get those brakes working, I will pop that sending unit off too and see how clean the gas tank is. I still haven't pulled that off. And then after that, we're gonna see if we can take it for a drive. So I'm pretty excited. pulled in the shop um, the first thing I'm gonna do is take apart the linkage I'm gonna take apart the pedal linkage up here there's just a pin that goes right through and connects with a little on the on the pedal fork I guess you could call it but yeah there's a little pin I'll pop that out and then go ahead and take the actual line out and then there's two 13 millimeter nuts on the back side one on top and one on bottom and then i should be able to slide it out and then i'll install the new one and hopefully that fixes our issue because i'm ready to take this thing for a drive <laughs> Also, while I'm at this point, I'm gonna take off all this extra junk that I don't need. Like this and this whole thing. This is broken anyway. And bam, look how much better that looks. Way cleaner. Let me get this sending unit out. I'm gonna try and clean it the best I can on the top so that any of this debris doesn't fall in somehow. So I'll probably just hit that with a couple brushes I got it out got the sending unit out it's pretty rusty it's got lots of rust on it so I'm gonna clean it the best I can and when I'm looking down there you guys can't see but there is a lot of fuel still in there which I was actually I kind of wasn't expecting that because you can kind of see the reflection of the fuel down there but yeah, now I'm gonna have to raise up the truck. I'm gonna raise up the truck real quick. And then I'll drain all the old fuel into a bucket. And then I'll be able to inspect the bottom of the tank with a flashlight or whatever, or a camera. And see what kind of debris is on the bottom. I'm really praying that for the most part it's clean. Um, I'm just hoping it's not like my Z was. Uh, I had to get a whole new gas tank for my Z. It was completely rusted out. So it's the next day. Um, last night I got my master cylinder in. Never got to bleeding them. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do. I've always I've always uh, bled brakes with an extra person having one person pump and then I do the bleeding so today I'm gonna try today I'm gonna try a new method um, this method is just requires one person basically what you do is you have a uh, little reservoir with a tube or whatever going to the bleeder valve and you have to have fluid in it and there's a straw that goes down here 
So basically when I go in there and I'll uh, crack the valve just a little bit. Um, and then after that I'll go in and I'll pump the brakes up and it'll push air out of the lines, obviously making sure that the master cylinder is still full of fluid. Um, pump the pedal and air will come out and go into the bottom of this making bubbles and when you um, let go of the pedal if I didn't have the fluid in here um, air would suck back in but fluid being in here it shouldn't do that so we'll go ahead and give that a shot Also guys, uh, one quick tip for bleeding brakes, um, especially if you're starting fresh with no fluid, um, always start with the furthest, furthest um, brake cylinder away or caliper, whatever you're doing. Um, I have four wheel drums and if you just trace the lines, it'll show you which one is the furthest away. So on this truck, we got the passenger side rear is the furthest away from the brake master cylinder. So you just do that and then go from the next furthest away to the next and, and so on. Also guys, um, I popped the sending unit out of the gas tank. I drained it. Um, the fluid was super like kind of brownish, obviously, because it was old. This truck has been sitting for like 30 years and it smelled really bad it's old fuel obviously if you guys don't know what that smells like it, it's horrible um, stuck my flashlight into the gas tank and I'm kind of thinking it's not savable it looks just the same as how my uh, 240z gas tank looked um, I'll roll the clip Yeah, it's pretty bad. So uh, I'll probably be on the hunt for a brand new gas tank. Um, I know where there's a bunch of 521s and they all have gas tanks at a junkyard. I can go take a look and see if one's even decent. I just, I've dealt with tanks like this before and it sucks to clean them. It sucks to get them cleaned. So if I can find a decent gas tank, I'd rather just do that. I don't want any, any chance of clogging the, the lines. So I went through all the bleeder valves starting from the very back all the way to the front. Um, that method worked out perfectly. Uh, I did all four brake cylinders, not seeing any, any leaks yet. I wouldn't be surprised if once this gets used a little more, um, some of those old cracked lines finally burst but we got tons of brake pressure now so I guess that means we get to take it for a first test drive and not going to be going for very far because we're still running off of the little Gatorade bottle and a little gasoline in there so I'll probably just take it up and down the street real quick and see it see how it works
been driving the 521 around for uh, quite a bit now. Um, only bad part is I gotta keep uh, stopping in parking lots and filling it up that little bottle because I'm still running off that bottle, but it runs really good. Probably gonna bleed the clutch a little bit. Clutch feels a little bit weird. Uh, wipers work. Everything electrical actually works. It's pretty cool. Um, stay tuned for more on this truck, guys. Thanks.